Hi guys and welcome to my Accelerator Titanium Mobile tutorial number, I think, 38. Yeah, 38. Now, uh, when creating uh, apps, such as games for your iPhone slash Android slash iPad or smartphones in general, uh, one advantage of uh, you creating your app slash games for an iPhone slash Android over PCs and uh, consoles is the fact that you have this uh, just you have a couple gestures that you can use in order to make your uh, app slash game really fun, such as sliders, uh, multi finger touching, touch and move, uh, and so on. And in this video, we are going to be looking at swiping in uh, Accelerator Titanium. Swiping is when you touch one part of the screen and then you swipe in a particular direction. For example, to uh, up, down, left, right, and the diagonals, and so on. And with swiping, you'll be able to do a lot of stuff. For example, uh, the famous and popular, uh, what was it? Fruit Ninja, I think that was the name. Yeah, Fruit Ninja uses swiping in order to be able to cut the fruits. And that sold, and that was like, that sold for like a million copies or something. Yeah, stupid like that. So swiping is really useful. Okay, so we're going to be looking at that in this video. Let's create our window var win equals tie.ui.create window. And as usual, let's change or let's set the background color to just white. Okay, now what you're going to do is create a label. Uh, create label. The reason why I create labels in a lot of my tutorials is so that uh, labels you can change the text so that it's easier to see that something has changed when you do something. For example, when you swipe to the left, you can change the label so that it says swipe to the left and so on. So it's for the tutorial purposes. In when you're creating a real app, you'll be using a lot of these uh, little uh, stuff that I've been teaching you, swiping, multi finger touching, which I'm going to do in my next video and so on. But you don't need to use a label in order to uh, I don't know, show that you swipe to the left every time, although it's good when you are debugging it. Also, you can uh, output that into your console. Okay, which I already taught you like 20 videos back. Or, I don't know, maybe more. Uh, I'm going to quick stop uh, talking and I am actually going to write or stop grabbing. Uh, width and height is going to be auto. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the text is going to be swipe or swipe me, doesn't really matter. And that's it for my label. Now what we need to do is say win.add event listener oops, with a big E because we are going to be swiping our uh, our window. So swipe is what we're going to be looking at or listening to and then for our callback function we are going to uh, let's change our label.txt label.txt equals uh, you swiped and we want e dot direction. That uh, that tells you whether the user has swiped to the left, or right, up, or down. So what we want to do is when we load our app, we are just going to click on one part of the screen with our mouse because it's a simulator, and then we are going to swipe that to the left, right, up, or down. And if we did it right, uh, the label or the text at the middle is going to say you swiped left or you swiped right. So the last thing we're going to do is. We add our label to the win and then open our win at the end. There we go. So really simple, 17 lines of code, including spaces. So uh, really good. All we added was two stuff, a window and a label, and we created an event listener for our window to listen to the swipe movement. So I saved my work or app.js and I'm going to run my iPhone simulator now. There we go, we have our app with a blank white background and a text which is swipe. Now, when swiping uh, using a, simula a simulator, you click with your mouse, you hold down, and then you uh, move your mouse or your finger really fast to a certain direction. So I'm going to click, and then click whip. There we go. It says you swiped up. And if I say, there we go, it says you swiped, swiped left. And if I swipe it to my right, it's going to say, you swiped right and if I go down it says you swipe down although the English is a bit weird because I wrote you swiped as a text and the e dot direction gives you back or returns uh, the direction which says down so you swiped up you swiped down you swiped to the left you swiped to the right so that was a really quick video on how to add a swipe 
gestures into your app. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.